Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is Game Foundry, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic pickup system in Unreal Engine 5. Before we jump in, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me keep bringing you high quality tutorials. With that out of the way, let's get started. Alright, let's start by creating a new blueprint. Right click in the content browser, go to blueprint class, and choose actor. Let's name this one, item BP. Now open it up. Inside item BP, let's add a sphere collision component. This will be used to detect when the player gets close to the item. Select the sphere collision, scroll down to the event section, and enable generate overlap events. Now go to the event graph, and let's create the logic. On begin overlap, we'll enable the player's input. On end overlap, we'll disable it. This way, the player can only press the interaction key when they're near the item. Let's go back to the item BP blueprint. Now, let's create the logic for picking up the item using the E key. In the event graph, add an input action for the E key, and then destroy the item BP actor. To make the item look more dynamic, let's rotate it constantly. Go to the event tick and add an add actor local rotation node. Then, create a make rotator node and set the Z value to 5. This will make the item spin on the Z axis like it's floating in the air. Now, let's switch to the player blueprint. In the components panel, add a static mesh and call it something like held item. Now we're going to attach it to the character's skeleton. In the details panel, set the parent socket to hand right. You may need to adjust the position and rotation to make it fit perfectly in the player's hand. Now inside the player blueprint, go to the event begin play. Let's make sure the held item is invisible at the start of the game. Just use a set visibility node and set it to false. Then on event tick, we'll check if has player item is true. Then create a variable called has player item and check it in the blueprint. If it is, set the held item to visible. If it's false, keep it hidden. This makes sure the item appears in the player's hand only after they pick it up. Let's go back to the item BP blueprint. Now, let's create the logic for picking up the item using the E key. In the event graph, use the node get actor of class to find the player blueprint. Then, set a boolean variable inside the player blueprint. Let's call it has player item to true. This way, when the player interacts with the item, we update that variable to say, hey, the player now has the item. Now, let's add a mechanic to drop the item. Still in the player blueprint, we'll check if has player item is true and the player presses the Q key. When that happens, first, set the held item's visibility to false. Then, create a new static mesh component in the viewport and place it in front of the player. You can name it something like item drop point. Thank <laughs> you. 